We are in the fun times in crypto, the time where retail really has a chance to drive the space, you know, play around with NFTs and meme coins and things like that. That These are the exciting things that, that are taking place right now. But I have long since said that that is not what really drives adoption to crypto and blockchain tech. Really what is going to get Cardano adoption and get the whole industry as a whole adoption is enterprise. Enterprise adoption of blockchain tech and enterprise adoption of the, the infrastructure that's built in Cardano, for example, are going to be the main thing that really push Cardano to the forefront of crypto as a whole, to the whole, the forefront of blockchains in general. And these pieces of infrastructure that have been built out over time, they've built, been built out for infrastructure. That's why we haven't seen mass utilization of these things yet. But something to even further validate what I've been saying is a new integration that we are going to be getting within Cardano. It's called Hyperfly, uh, Hyperfly, Hyperledger Firefly. Now, many people have not heard of this before. I had not heard of this before, but this was from a conversation that Charles Hoskinson had on Twitter. And what he expressed was plans to integrate Cardano with Hyperledger Firefly, a multi-party system for enterprise data flows. So this revelation came as a response to a tweet by Chris O'Connor, co-founder of Cardano Ghost Fund DAO, who emphasized the significance of scaling solutions within the Cardano ecosystem. What, it, what Charles Hoskinson said is we are going to get uh, a Cardano integration done with Firefly to test it out and see if SPOs like it. Long term, it, long term, it can run all infrastructure as containers and allow for lightweight consensus. It's a project that we are working close, closely with Blockfrost on. All right. Now, what Chris O'Connor had floated before was the concept of super nodes. Now these super nodes are envisioned to play a role in scaling Cardano and its partner chain, off chain, Hydra, Mithril, and rollup models. O'Connor linked uh, to a blog post explaining Hyperfly or Hyperledger Firefly and it's highlighted its potential for building a mul building multi-party applications. So what this is essentially supposed to do is make it easier for those enterprises to, to build out on Cardano. For example, it's an open source project that aims to simplify the development of decentralized blockchain applications for enterprises. It provides a standardized framework for building multi-party systems, enabling developers to focus on business logic rather than complex infrastructure. So again, making it easier for enterprise to enter the space, to utilize the Cardano blockchain and an integration, excuse me, an integration of something like this only helps with that. Now, this may be too complex for some people. Some of this even goes over my head. I haven't looked at a complex breakdown of this, but but again, this was more so just to validate the point that I've been saying. When we talk about Cardano becoming the most utilized blockchain in the world, providing worldwide infrastructure, these are the bits and pieces that, that come together to form this grand vision. Making it easier for businesses to adopt the Cardano blockchain is a big deal. All right. And it, it definitely should not be slept on. So just wanted to give you guys a quick update. I know this has nothing to do with price or anything like that, but this is something that is a big push that we see taking place. And with decentralization, with the security, the, the, you know, stuff like that, that Cardano offers that others don't, it's going to become a natural landing place for, for uh, enterprise adoption as we move through this cycle and the next one. So I appreciate you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts below, but have a great day. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.